Hi everyone, this is a video about PIR sensors, but this one is rather a little bit different because it can operate from 5 volt to 12 volt. So it means that you can operate this from a power bank and this one has a 3 amp output and is designed for LEDs and the output whatever that you put it in here is going to be 3 amp out from here so there is a limit to this unit and then there is a timer here the time that it can stays on from 10 seconds to 15 minutes wow that is a very long time that it can stays on considering that this can be operated from a power bank so let's talk about this Many people, they say that this one, because it doesn't have the night and day adjustment, it doesn't worth the money. I have bought two of these just for the purpose of this video and the usage that I had and I bought it from eBay for under five pounds I, I just uh, sorry under ten pounds I just show you the seller and I bought it to be exact for nine pound thirty eight pence two of them just two of these for nine pounds thirty eight pence and the seller is this chap if you are interested to buy it from the shipping was good and the name of this item is 5 to 12 volt automatic PIR body infrared LED strips light motion sensor switch that's a very long name isn't it so let's talk about this there are some uh, reviews about this that they are saying because it doesn't have the night and day option so this is practically useless if you want to use it in a daylight situation so I show you what is happening right now and what I wanted to show you to overcome that because this is a very tiny piece of equipment and it just DC from one side and one side with your LEDs so I have opened this one and I want to show you the inside of this and the inside is something looks like this is a timer for the period of time that it can stay on and the sensor that I'm trying to avoid touching it and a light sensor on this corner so if you override the sensor the light sensor you can operate this even in the daylight situation you can either take this out and short the circuit or what I have done this is a shrink wrap 
you put a shrink wrap over here and now this can be operated in the daytime and nighttime. We are going to demonstrate this shortly with first this one which doesn't have the shrink wrap around the light sensor and then with this one. I'm going to set up everything and I'm just going coming back in a second. So this is the setup. I just have a multi USB connector here connected via this normal connector, not USB, in order to adapt this adapt it to uh, get to these connections that we have and now this is my trusty USB power bank and we are going to test this this is now at 10 seconds to 15 minutes I set it at 10 seconds and we connect and as you see the light is coming on and after 10 seconds is just going off. The problem with this setup is as soon as it's going off in the light like this with a you know ceiling light is not gonna come on anymore because of that light sensor no matter whatever you do this light is not going to come on. So now let's try with the one that we have modified with the shrink wrap. Of course, you know, for this price, something like four pounds fifty something, you can get one that it also has the day and night time option but in case that anyone would say that why should you buy this for the same price and now look at this I set it at zero time and soon is going to go off and after that as soon as you move in front of this is going to come on after a while if the timing is a little bit higher than what you might say more than 10 seconds and if you put this one over it starting to activate it but without this is a little bit frustrating. Now we raise the time to something like 20 seconds and after 20 seconds is going off but now that I'm moving over it is not going to turn itself off so we are going to set it at zero and now it's going off and as soon as because it is zero little movement is going to activate it and immediately is going off the problem with the shrink wrap over the sensor is is significantly reduce the number of minutes that is going to stay on so we are going to put it at 20 seconds roughly and then we are going to wait for it and I'm trying to stay still for the light or the sensor to go off and is more or less is operable as you see and as soon as you move your hand over it now this unit is working properly as it should be without the option of day or night if you want to use this at night time obviously you don't need these modifications but if 
is exposed to daylight, you need to do this. But it's a new item, and that's why, because I'm moving now, it's not going off. So I'm going to turn it off. For the demonstration, I'm just going to take the shrink wrap off and turn it on to just show you that this unit is going is not going to turn on and now is at the limit of 10 seconds and after 10 seconds is going off and now whatever I do nothing is going to activate the sensor in there so those people that they are complaining they can have this option just to do this and now the, the time that it remains on significantly reduced to just one second now we are at one second and then it's supposed to be 10 seconds but now we are going to turn it a little bit on and it stays on for maybe 10, 20 seconds. But as long as you move over it, it stays on. And if I use my hand in order to demonstrate movement, you will see that this light is not going to go off. So, the reason that I'm making this video is because this unit is much smaller than the other ones I'm going to show you the other one that I'm talking about that it has the option of day and night and I come back just to show you the other one this is the other unit that I've been talking about and I'm using it in another project and it was stuck to a place a secure place so Look at the size between these two, difference between these two sizes. But this one has the option of day and night and the timer. So this one only has the timer, but unfortunately they have added this light sensor. And if I open the other one, you can see that there is no light sensor under this dome so if you bypass this light sensor so it's going to become day and night and the sensitivity remains more or less the same so this was a short video about this 5 to 12 volt PIR sensor and the price for two of them was under ten pounds, nine pounds fifty, nine pounds thirty eight from a UK seller. And the shipping was fast and the quality seems to be good and everything is fantastic. Only the option of night and day remains a little bit of uh, disappointment for the price because I have purchased this five pound something from China and if you want to buy this from UK is something somewhere about seven pounds something each so I fully recommend this for those that they can modify this but those that they want this to be operable during the day and the night I'm afraid if they are not some sort of electrical savvy I do not recommend this item so they better go for this item anyhow this was a video about PIR sensor 5 to 12 volt and this one 12 to 24 volts so this one cannot operate under 12 volt but this one can so until my next video take care of yourself and each other